leg removal spray. It's got um, natural herbal um, oils in it, which will actually repel the, the lice and the mites, actually stop them from landing on the bird in the first place. But what it also does, is it has a sort of waxy sheen to it, which will actually suffocate the mites and kill them off so that they're not actually biting, um, biting the, uh, getting under the scales and biting on the, on the birds. So little one here, not particularly good to demonstrate on. Now the dosage of this, for a small bird, it's one spray per leg, and for a larger bird, it's five sprays per leg. Okay, now you need to spray it on. I find the easiest way to get this on, and the best way to do it, is I use like a kiddie's toothbrush, a really soft toothbrush. Just spray some of that onto the toothbrush, and then work it, oh, sorry, up the leg, underneath the scale. So you make sure you're getting underneath the scale. So I spray it on the toothbrush first. It's a lot easier than trying to spray it on a wiggly leg. <laughs> Oh, sorry, baby, trying to spray it onto a wiggly leg. So just spray it onto like a kiddie toothbrush and brush it up against the growth of the scale so it's getting underneath the scales on the leg. OK, now on a bigger bird, it's much easier to see the scales on the legs there. You can see, like, on this pullet, she's very young. She's got lovely, closely scaled legs, really nice, smooth scales. Now, you can see they're slightly articulated around the, um, the ankle there where they just slightly part and lift where she bends her foot as she's moving. Now on a bird that's got scaly leg mites you will find that the scales up most of the leg will be raised quite high and there'll be a nasty crusty scab underneath there. It's a sort of creamy coloured scab underneath there. You can't actually see the mites that are there. Now the scaly leg spray, anti-scaly leg spray, um, you'd spray that on a bird this size you do about five sprays per leg okay and it's containing as I said it's containing the essential oils that will repel the mites and it also has a waxy covering so that it, what it does is it suffocates the mites so that they can't breathe and breathe and they eventually die. Now what's happening with scaly leg is that the scales will remain lifted even after the mites have died. Um, the mites will die, they will drop off and the scales will remain lifted. Now it's not a good idea to try pulling them off. I know some people have tried to pull them off because they looked a bit ugly or whatever. It's not a good idea to try and pull them off. That will cause bleeding, it will really hurt their legs. So Please don't feel tempted to do that. Um, leave them on there, and when the chicken next, start, next comes in to molt and they're losing their feathers and growing new ones, they also molt their leg scales, so they'll be molting and coming through with nice, newly shiny leg scales, and the legs will look almost as good as new again. So wait until they molt, and they'll grow through some new leg scales and they'll look much nicer. It's also really good to use as part of your preventative pre uh, measures when you're protecting your chickens against lice and mites. Just spray their legs. I mean, I do it at home every quarter. Just spray their legs. Now, instead of just spraying it on the leg and it's sort of dripping, dripping around, the easiest way to do that, as I said before, just use like a child's soft toothbrush. Spray it onto the toothbrush or put it into a cup and then just pick some up on the toothbrush. And then just brush it up on the legs, up against the direction that the scales are growing. Brush it up the legs so that it gets underneath the scales and protects them that way. So really good preventative programme, as well as if you find the mites, it does help them stop them picking up from as they're grazing over the grass.